today's video is going to be my nail polish collection. Um, I really like watching these types of videos because it just gives me an idea of different colours that I want to purchase and stuff like that um, from different brands. So yeah, um, I'm not going to go into how I store them or anything like that because I just store them in one of my drawers in my dresser. So it's nothing really that big of a deal but yeah, I really like nail polish. Um, I'm always wanting to paint my nails because I have acrylics and because I have longer nails when I have acrylics, I always just want to paint them different colours because naturally my nails are quite short and painting them would just look really weird. <laughs> so um, yeah, I'm just going to be showing you guys randomly. I was going to categorise them into kind of like the same types of brands and stuff like that, but I just thought I would just pull out any random one and show you guys. The first one I'll just show you guys is in a little nail polish kit. This is from Clean Colour. It's the Be My Daydream Sweet Romance Nail Lacquer Mini Collection and I purchased this from Beauty Joint. Um, it just basically comes with six different colours. It has like a glittery silver, a light pink, um, a hot pink, a red kind of glittery nail polish, a red and then just a clear top coat with hearts. Um, this is an okay collection, like set of nail polishes. It's not the best. The only ones that I do really like um, is the light pink, the dark pink and the silver glitter. The silver glitter is really, really amazing as a top coat over the top of any nail polish. It's a really, really gorgeous, um, perfect like silver glittery top coat. These three aren't the best um, at all, but yeah, I really like these ones, but that's that one. Next off is one of my favourite nail polishes ever. It is from Face of Australia and it's the Colour Pro Triple Action Nail Enamel which looks like this and it's in the shade Ocean Villa. It's just a really, really pretty um, blue, like royal blue colour. It's absolutely gorgeous. This one is one from Australis. It's the nail colour, intense colour with high shine nail polish in Aqua. And it's just basically one of those ones that's quite like, you can see in the light there, it's like a turquoisey, um, bluey green colour. Um, I don't really like this one too much. I don't know why. I love it in the bottle. I just don't really like it on my nails. I have sort of a thing with nail polishes. If they kind of look a little bit metallic or they have, you know, sort of that um, duo colour going on, I don't really like it very much. So, yeah, this is a good colour, but I don't really like it too much on my nails. Another one is from Models Prefer. This is the Models Prefer Nail Enamel in Cafe Latte. And it's just basically a kind of brownie taupe colour. Um, don't really like this one. Um, looked way better in the bottle than it did on my nails. It is an okay kind of like nude natural colour but yeah not too much of a fan of it. Next one is another one from Australis. This is the nail colour in Rub -a Dub Dub and it's just a really light yellow. I don't think I've actually worn this before but um, I know Shannon from Shanexo has been wearing like a, a baby a baby yellow, a light yellow um, colour like this, like a pastel -y colour in some of her videos and I really like the way that it look, makes her nails look. So I might paint my nails with this um, soon but uh, yeah, I really like the Australis nail polishes. If you're in Australia and you can get these, definitely go check them out. They're really, really good formula um, formulation. They have a really nice like streak-free application. This one is from BYS. This is the Nail and Nemel in... Kung Fu Blue. It's basically kind of like a greeny blue, kind of like an aqua colour. I'm not too much of a fan of the formulation of the BYS nail polishes. And this colour is okay. Um, not, I don't love it, but yeah, the formulation of these is kind of like gloopy and just doesn't really go on that great. Another one is another one from Face of Australia, um, the Colour Pro Triple Action in Flaming Lava. This is a red with kind of yellow or golden um, shimmers through it, if you can see that there. Um, didn't really like this one. Bought it because I thought with the gold through it, it would look a little bit better than just a regular like red nail polish, which I'm not too much of a fan of. But yeah, don't really like reds. I find they stay in my nails. They're really difficult to take off and they just kind of make my nails look or my hands look weird, I don't know. It's just, I'm not too much a fan of red. The one is a Sally Hansen. This is the Gem Crush Nail Colour in 01 Showgirl Chic. Um, it's basically just a silver and blue glitter nail polish. Absolutely amazing 
for um, wearing on its own. It looks gorgeous on. I love glitter nail polishes, but they're so hard to take off. Who knows whether or not I will wear this again if I can take it off with acetone. Removing this on acrylic nails with non-acetone is a pain in the ass. I absolutely hate it, and I'm never, ever going to... Um, even try and do that again. I've completely like skipped on the glitter nail polishes these days. Haven't really bought a lot because they're just so hard to take off. But with acetone, like pure acetone, I'm sure it'll be fine. But absolutely love this. Go check it out if you're into glitter nail polishes. It looks so pretty. Um, another Australis one. I have so many Australis ones. I'm really sorry <laughs> if you're not from Australia. I don't even know whether you can buy them. Probably not. This is the nail colour in Foil Spoil. And it's just basically a kind of golden... Um, it looks silver, but it's it's more gold. A gold and silver glitter nail polish. Um, it's okay. It's not amazing. Um, as I said, looked better in the bottle. Yeah, I don't really like the really metallic-y gold nail polishes. They look kind of like too futuristic for me. So that's that one. Next one is one that I haven't tried yet. It's from Savvy, and it's just the nail polish, I guess, in Blue Lagoon. It's a deeper blue than the um, Ocean Villa. But um, because I really liked this one, I thought that I would try a deeper blue colour. So have to see how that goes and the formulation of that one. Next one is the Maybelline Colour Show Nail Lacquer in Wine and Dime Red number 420. This is just kind of like a burgundy um, purplish red colour. It also has some gold glitter through it, um, if you can see that there. Um, looked really, really nice. I just wanted to try it out. It looks quite like a fall colour, I would say. Um, but yeah. I just thought I would give this a go. Um, don't really know why I picked this particular colour, but I just thought it looked really, really nice. So next up is another one from Savvy. This is the Tropical Martini. Um, it's just basically like a holographic nail polish. There's every single colour imaginable in there. There's blue, silver, pink, green, everything like that. Um, this is a really, really pretty top coat over the top of nail polish. Once again, it's a bugger cut get off. But um, really, really pretty over the top of nail polish. I absolutely love it. Next up is a Maybelline Mini Colorama nail polish in 96 Party Blue. This one is looking like it should be retiring. Um, so it's just a really, really nice light blue. Um, these are actually pretty good. I think they're about $5 or something like that. I don't even know whether they sell them anymore since they've come out with this range. But um, it's just a really pretty baby blue color. So yeah. Formulation of these is pretty good. Um, next one is what I'm wearing on my nails right now. This is from Australis. It's the nail colour in Bombshell. It's just a really, really pretty um, purpley pink colour. As I said, it's what I'm wearing on my nails right now. I absolutely love it. I love colours like this, these bright, like, neon -y kind of colours, especially pink. So, love that. Next one is from Essence, and it's the Colour and Go Nail Polish in... I don't even think this one has a name in it on it. Oh yeah, 104 Sweet as Candy. It's just a really, really pretty light baby pink colour. I don't have a colour like this in my collection, so I just thought I'd pick it up. Don't know about the formulation of it, but just thought I would get that one um, to try. Next one, this is one of my favourite nail polishes ever. Um, it's the Rimmel London I Love Lasting Finish Nail Polish in 270 Hot Shot. It's just basically a hot pink. Um, it's not really very similar to the one I'm wearing right now doesn't really have a purple tone to it. Absolutely gorgeous. I love this colour. I need to get another one because this one is um, starting to get a bit old. But I absolutely love this one. And I do really like the Rimmel London nail polishes, especially the Lasting Finish ones and the 60 Seconds collection. Um, but yeah, that's just a hot pink. I have one from Butter London. Um, this is the Butter London Nail Lacquer in Trap Pout. It's basically just like a peachy colourly pink. Um, I don't think that these are amazing. I don't think the um, formulation of them are amazing. And considering the fact that they are a lot more expensive or relatively more expensive than, say, Face of Australia or Australis, the formulation isn't amazing. Um, the colour's nice, though. I didn't actually get this, like, pay for this. I got this in a magazine subscription thing. But um, I really do like it. The colour is nice. But, yeah, wouldn't rave on about these. The formulas of these, I don't really like them very much. Next one is another one from Rimmel, the Isle of Lasting Finish in 239 Your Majesty. This is just basically a um, really, really glittery or shimmery silver. Um, don't really like it. It looks kind of metallic -y on the nails and as I said, it kind of looks a bit like space, futuristic. <laughs> um, 
if that even makes any sense. Probably doesn't, but yeah, don't really like this one anymore. Another one from Australis is in Liquid Gold. It's just basically a metallic-y gold colour. Um, it's okay. Kind of makes it has that metallic -y kind of like finish, so I'm not a huge fan of that. Um, once again, because of that. Next one is one from Revlon. I'm not a humongous fan of the Revlon nail polishes. I don't rave on about them. I don't think they're the great, the greatest formula. I think that they get really, really goopy quick. Um, but this one is the scented perfume nail polish. The scent has like kind of faded a little bit now. Yeah, it just smells like nail polish. It doesn't have a scent to it anymore. I think it's getting kind of old. Um, but this one is in 300 Cotton Candy and it's uh, light pink with gold shimmers in it, if you can see. Pretty colour. Um, you do need quite a few coats for this to come out. One, Models Prefer Nail Polish in Freestyle. This is another blue. It's kind of like a uh, navy blue, I guess. Or not really a navy blue, but a light navy blue. Don't really like this colour. Not really the type of blue that I'm... A huge fan of. Another one is from Natio. This is the nail colour in Lilacs. Really, really small bottle. It's pretty cute. I think they're only about $5 something. Um, just a really, really, really pretty lilac colour. Another one is the Face of Australia um, Colour Action Pro Nail Polish in... Where's the name of it? Cool Cotton. This is just a white. Um, doesn't really have any other kind of shade to it. Isn't shimmery or anything like that. I just wanted to get a, a white nail polish um, just because I think that it looks quite nice. I'm quite a fan of it. It looks really pretty on what I had on the other day, so that's that one. Another one is another Maybelline Mini Colorama um, Nail Polish in 56 Coral Rose. This is just basically a coral colour. Um, Face of Australia Molten Metallics Nail Enamel. This is in Verdi, Verdigris, and it's just basically a kind of metallic-y green colour. Um, didn't really like this one very much. I don't get a lot of use out of this, so yeah. Rimmel London 60 Seconds, now Polishing 800 Blackout. I love, 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 love the 60 Seconds collection because it dries so quickly. Um, this is just a black. I don't really like black very much. I, I got this when I used to have, um, when I used to paint the tips of my nails black. Um, but yeah, I don't really like black very much. It's just not my colour for nails. Another one is... The Australis Nail Colour in Peekaboo. This is just a really, really pretty light purple. I have one from Revlon. I used to absolutely love this nail polish. It's getting a bit old now, so um, yeah, I don't wear it too much anymore. But this is the Revlon Top Speed Fast Dry Nail Enamel in 110 Pink Lingerie. And it's just basically a pink colour. Um, it's not really a baby pink. It just kind of looks at the top. It just is just basically a pink. Looks really pretty. I love pinks. Another one is the Revlon Matte Suede Nail Polish in 008 Powder Puff. This is a white kind of shimmery um, nail polish. It definitely doesn't go on as like opaque as this one, um, even though they do look similar colours. Didn't really like this one very much. Um, it had that like metallic-y kind of shimmery finish to it, so that kind of ruined it for me. And once again, you have to kind of layer on these nail polishes, I find, so wasn't a huge fan of this one. Um, next is another Rimmel 60 Seconds Nail Polish in 805 Grey Matter. This is just a grey nail polish. Then I have a Revlon Sheer Translucide um, Nail Polish in 006 Sheer Pink. Really dislike this one. Um, I think it would look quite nice on natural nails or even if you had acrylics. But I have a French tip on mine and this just doesn't really coat up to fully cover the French tip. Um, it's just basically like a really, really light pink, kind of peachy sheer nail polish. Um, yeah, not a huge fan of this one. Um, I got this as a buy one, get one free, so it didn't really matter that I didn't like it, but it's not really the best. Then I have two mint colored nail polishes. Um, the first one is from Revlon, and it's just the one in 85 minted, which is a really popular one. Looks like this, and then I have one from Savvy, which is in mint julep which is more of a light mint color it's more of a bluey mint rather than a greeny mint um i probably would prefer this one a little bit better i just wanted to get this one because this one is drying out because they do um even though i've had this one for ages then i have one which i just recently purchased it's the bys nail enamel in diamond glitter crystal um this has really really nice um colorful kind of glitters to it it has like green and orange and purple as well as silver I just thought this looked absolutely gorgeous. Um, as I said, I'm going to try using like pure acetone on my nails now to take off 
the nail polish, so my phone. Yeah, hopefully this one um, looks really nice and comes off easy. <laughs> Another one is Revlon's uh, Nail Polish in 791 Midnight Affair. It's just kind of like a royal blue colour. Um, this looked way better in the bottle than it did on my nails. It just kind of looked too dark for me. Um, so not a huge fan of this one. And then Rimmel London, this is going to be a really long video. Rimmel London 60 Seconds in 210 ethereal I think it is. It's just a light baby pink colour once again kind of like the sheer one from Revlon. Then I have the Australis Nail Colour in Foil Spoil. This is like a goldy silver nail polish. Um, it looks okay um, on, yeah, that's what that looks like. The last nail polish is the, another one from Maybelline, the Mini Colorama in Tutti Fruity and this is just basically a purpley kind of pink um, nail polish with glitter. Um, it, this was actually quite nice. Um, I really like these nail polishes. They have good um, application and they come out quite opaque. So that's that one. And then the last one that I just wanted to show you guys is a top coat. This is a Sally Hansen Mega Shine top coat, which looks like this. Um, you've probably seen this before. This is an amazing top coat. Um, it makes your nails really, really shiny. It kind of reminds me of when you go to the nail salon and you get a gel coat. Um, top coat, even though it doesn't last that long, it's amazing. It makes your nail polish just stand out and I do have to have something that makes it really, really shiny on top. I hate just having like a matte nail polish or something that's not shiny. So this is amazing. I think this is the second time that I've purchased this. Absolutely love it. So that's it for my nail polish collection. I do apologise I didn't have any ones from like China Glaze or OPI or Essie. They don't really sell them in stores here, but I do want to buy some of those online because I am going to be getting rid of some of these. I just thought I'd show you guys before I actually like get rid of them. So that's basically it. Um, please leave any video responses for your nail polish collection if you have a video up or tell me what your favourite nail polish is. And don't forget to subscribe to this channel and like the video and comment and go check out my blog and all that sort of stuff. And I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye.